Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, we will go over all the Jade Rabbit statues located within Destiny 2. If you find value out of this video, feel free to like the video or subscribe to the channel. Again, our traffic has been going up by quite a bit. I really appreciate all the support. But our subscribers have only been so much. I know a lot of you guys are watching the video. I'll show a little graphic that shows how many of you actually subscribe. So again, if you can't subscribe, I really, really appreciate it. In this video, we'll go over all the locations of the Jade Rabbit statues on the moon. Again, if you get all of these, you do get an achievement. Now to do this, you are going to have to get rice cakes, which you get through a variety of activities. You will need 10 of them as there are 10 Jade Rabbit uh, statues that you need to find. So the first Jade Rabbit statue is pretty easy. You're in your spawn point within Sanctuary. Just turn around, go down the ramp, and the Jade Rabbit will be sitting right there. Jade Rabbit number two is in Archer's Line. Again, you'll go through Archer's Line and you look for that sort of geodesic uh, building. It's a little bit different. You'll see it as I walk through this on the video. Go through that and again, tucked away near some terminals, you'll find you'll find Jade Rabbit number two. Jade Rabbit number three is within K1 Logistics, the Lost Sector. So again, when you reach the loot chest, you'll head into the building behind it and you'll find it right next to a cat. The fourth Jade Rabbit is located within the Anchor of Light. And again, in this case, there's that large building with the antenna that's on it. There's a couple different ways that you could get to this. But again, just jump up there. You'll see it near the top next to a computer terminal. Again, you'll see a, a trend of computer terminals and chairs that these things are on. Jade Rabbit number five is in the Hell Mouth. And to start this out, you'll be in that round platform in the middle. And again, I'll show kind of on screen where that's at. You turn around, you go backwards, and you there's a small, like, yellow orange building that you hop over. And then there's a rocky path and kind of a cliff. If you look there, you'll find Jade Rabbit number five. Jade Rabbit number six is in Sorrows Harbor. So how do you get this? You go from the main bridge. Again, if you're thinking about the strike that you do within Sorrows Harbor, it's right there where you're trying to go inside of that area. If you do that, and then you turn a little bit left, you'll see that it's it's hiding in between two large gray hive capsules. And again, you'll see it resting against the wall. Jade Rabbit number seven is with is within K1 Revelation Lost Sector. Now, to get this, obviously, you'll have to finish the Shadow Keep campaign to be able to unlock this. But the other thing is, you'll need a Firewall Data Fragment. And to get that, you'll need to get the quest from Eris, and you'll need to complete the other three Lost Sectors that are on the moon to get this. Once you get to the end of the Lost Sector, there'll be an additional door that you can only do with the Firewall Data Fragment, and the statue is on a chair in the back of the room. Pretty easy to find. The number eight Jade Rabbit is within Circle of Bones. And obviously to get there is a little bit more convoluted, a little bit longer path than some of the other areas. I'll kind of show on screen how you get there. Once you get down here, you'll be able to go underneath a uh, platform. You'll drop down to the right, and underneath there, you'll see it kind of hidden away in the dark. The number nine Jade Rabbit is in the Chamber of Night. So again, it's similar to Circle of Bones, where you'll have to do a little bit of searching to kind of get to it. I'll show you on screen how to get there. Once you're complete with that, again, you'll go through the, these really dark corridors and you'll see the title pop up for the Chamber of Night. 
get past the first group of enemies, and then you'll see a particularly tall rock. Go on top of that rock, and you'll be able to get the statue, and that'll be that, that one will be complete. Jade Rabbit number 10 is in the Shrine of Oryx. So again, this one's another one where it's not within a Lost Sector or something else. You're kind of have to walk around a little bit. Um, I'll show you on screen how to get that. And then once you get here, go through the entrance and follow the path. And then you'll notice on a cliff edge, you'll spot the statue and you'll be done. And that's the video, guys. So again, I just wanted to make a short video that gives you everything you need in one video versus going to multiple videos. Because I know some of you, especially new folks, are probably new and haven't had a chance to do this yet. And again, that means you'll have to do all 10 at one time. So I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like the video. And feel free to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guardians in the tower.